What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. So do you guys remember when the trade deadline was around and obviously the Los Angeles Lakers didn't do anything and there was an offer on the table but they decided not to take it? Well, there's another rumor going on right now or I guess a news thing, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it, but apparently there was much more to this trade than we thought. So today we're gonna to be doing a John Wall, Christian Wood, Los Angeles Lakers rebuild today. So as we all know, the John Wall for Russell Westbrook rumors were obviously going around and apparently the offer that we all thought it was, was like Russell Westbrook, a first round pick, Taylor Horn Tucker for John Wall. And the Lakers decided ultimately not to do that, which I guess in a way I can understand. But apparently Christian Wood was also offered by the Houston Rockets. So as a Lakers general manager, would you have done this trade? Let's take a look at it. So basically, we uh, go take a look at the trades if I can find it. I guess let's go this way. So I've uh, simulated a little bit, obviously, into the offseason. So basically, it's Russell Westbrook, Taylor Horn Tucker, and a first round pick for Christian Wood and John Wall. So as a Lakers general manager, would you have made this trade at the trade deadline or would you have not done it? Just like they obviously decided not to. And then as guest as a Rockets GM as well, you can answer it to me as well if you would have done this trade or not. You get Taylor Horn Tucker in a first and you get rid of John Wall's contract and you also get rid of Russell or get rid of Christian Wood and then of course you're also getting Russell Westbrook's Russell Westbrook's contract in return but the good thing now is we actually did this trade in the offseason rather than the trade deadline because obviously the trade deadline passed and I wasn't able to make that trade at the trade deadline as a what-if scenario so now you get uh John Wall's expiring contract and then you have Russell Westbrook's expiring contract in the trade so I think this trade could potentially happen in the offseason you just never really know so now we have Christian Wood Anthony Davis, LeBron James, and John Wall is kind of your big four here in LA. So it's interesting though. It's definitely an interesting looking roster. And I'm excited to kind of see what we can do with this team today. So, I mean, we have our starting five essentially. All we really need to do is put like a three point type shooting guard in this roster. So let's go straight uh, to our qualifying offers. We got Suku Dumboya, Mason Jones. And obviously on draft night, we didn't have any draft picks. We don't have any rookies on the team. But we have uh, Kendrick Nunn as a free agent. We got DeAndre Jordan and then Sequel and the boy is seeking 17 million. What are we doing? I don't know what this man thinks he is. All right. So guys we have in our contract right now is literally John Wall. We have Austin Reeves, which is cool. But I don't really want him to be my starting shooting guard, obviously. You got LeBron James, Christian Wood, and then Anthony Davis. So what can we technically afford? You got Gary Payton. You got Lance Stevenson, Damian Lee, Edmund Summer, Gary Harris, Bryn Forbes, Ty Jerome. So... Gary Harris actually would be a really solid starter in this Los Angeles Lakers. You know, it would be a cheap starter. I think it would be solid. So, might go for him, low-key. And then Nicholas Batum, Hassan Whiteside. So, um, I think our first acquisition is going to be, in fact, Gary Harris. Because I do like how he would probably fit in a Lakers uniform. Shooting guard, 3 and D wing. I think that makes perfect sense. So, we'll go ahead and offer him a contract to be our starting shooting guard. And then, since Kendrick Nunn's contract, since we can offer him so much money, I think it would be kind of smart for us to offer it to him. That way, we could use him in a trade later on, potentially. And I guess you also have DeAndre Jordan here who we can give like a one-year deal to. Nothing crazy. So this is going to be our free agency sign. It's going to be Gary Harris, Kendrick Nunn, and DeAndre Jordan, hopefully. So we sign all three of them. And those are going to be our three acquisitions. And then after that, obviously, it's kind of thin. So we could sign like Damian Lee. We can get like uh, Myers Leonard, Robert Covington, I guess, for a minimum contract. And then we have another Bird Rights, it looks like, on who? Oh, yeah, Secret and Boy, which I'm not giving him $17 million, obviously. So if I was doing a fantasy-style rebuild, maybe I would and then trade him. But obviously... Kind of going to stay more towards the realism realm. So, Georgie Dang and then Aaron Baines. Obviously, you have DeAndre Jordan. So, we get Covington as a nice, you know, bench player or starter or whatever. So, now when you look at the team, it's John Wall, Kendrick Nunn. You got Damian Lee, Gary Harris, Austin Reeves. You got LeBron James, Robert Covington, Christian Wood, and then DeAndre Jordan and Anthony Davis. So, yeah, it's definitely an interesting looking roster. Obviously, every time you do a Lakers rebuild, it's a little tough because you don't have a lot of assets to improve the roster and not a lot of cap space either. But... We already kind of have some starters as it is. I think Gary Harris, like I said, would be a really started, really, really solid shooting guard that makes a lot of sense in a Lakers uniform. So Kendrick Nunn's probably going to be somebody we would probably trade the trade deadline. But for now, this is what the Lakers roster is really going to look like. So if we go to player progression, kind of see how it treats us. Tikkan Boya, Mason Jones are back. Uh, we got John Wall going down. Obviously, we got Anthony Davis going down. And then LeBron James going down at his age as well. And then Robert Covington going down. So yeah, the team is going to be not that fantastic, but... Like I said, we have ways to improve at the trade deadline. We could throw about 14 million together. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what kind of trade we could potentially make at the trade deadline. Because obviously we want to prove other than this. Like this is cool and all, but it's not good enough. I, I want to improve further than that. So let's go take a look at uh, what this ro rotation would look like. So power ranking does land us at number one. So like I said, this is what the starting five would essentially look like if the Lakers had traded for John Wall and Christian Wood. It'd be John Wall, Gary Harris, LeBron James, Christian Wood, Andy Davis, Kendrick Nunn off the bench. I uh, got DeAndre Jordan, 
Damian Lee, and then Siku Naboya. So uh, they want Siku in there over Robert Covington, which I guess is fine. All right, proficiency-wise, we're sitting at a four-star grit and grind system, um, although Frank Vogel's system is defense, and we're still four-star at defense as well. So uh, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and roll with defense, or we can go grit and grind. Uh, I don't know. It really doesn't matter too much. We're going to go ahead and just leave it at defense, and uh, we're going to still wait this season, and we're going to just kind of see how things go. Now that John Wall and Christian Wood are in a Lakers uniform, would this have made the Lakers better or would not, or would it not have mattered? We'll see. And then I do want to be the trade deadline to throw probably DeAndre Jordan and Kendrick Nunn together to get like a uh, solid bench player potentially. We'll see what happens. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a player props website that allows you to go over or unders on NBA players. That way you watch the game and have a lot of fun with it. So for example, this is what it would look like on desktop. Also kind of looks like this obviously on your phone, but you just simply pick two, three, four, five players, however many you want to choose. You just simply click over, over, under, under, whatever you want to do. And then you can either three times your money, five times your money, even 10 times your money, as long as you get all four right. Even if you wanted to do power plays or flex plays, it really does not matter. Either way, it works out however you want it to. So if you guys want to join Prize Fix, the link's in the description. Use my promo code CRUSHABLES when you sign up. So at the end of the season, things actually went decently well. We ended up as the third seed, which is obviously way better than uh, the Lakers are in real life right now. So Trey Young, MVP. Ty Ty Washington wins Rookie of the Year. Randall's your sixth man on the Knicks. I wonder who is uh, starting over him. John Nye's defense player and James Wiseman, you're most improved. And Taylor Jenkins is your coach of the year. So like I said, things went fairly well. LeBron James makes all NBA first team at his age. All NBA second team, if we take a look at it. We got no Anthony Davis and yeah, no AD at all. All NBA third team, all defense first team, and all defensive second team, all rookie first team, and all rookie second team. So, third seed in the Western Conference going up against the Golden State Warriors, player stats wise 28 from LeBron James, 21 from Anna Davis, and John Wall was essentially pretty helpful. 19 points per game, seven assists, 14 and 10 from Christian Wood. And then I actually decided not to trade Kendrick Nunn away because he was actually a really solid bench player for us. So, he was basically the guy I needed that I was kind of like, you know what, maybe we can go look for a. Uh, shooting guard or a backup guard that would be really nice for us and Kendrick Nunn was kind of that guy and then Gary Harris had seven and a half so I do want to look at the shooting as well so uh obviously oh I passed it John Wall uh 34 percent which isn't great but I believe that's probably better than what Russell Westbrook is shooting right now in real life not totally sure Andy Davis only 26 percent which is a little unfortunate Gary Harris 34 and then Kendrick Nunn 37 so yeah pretty solid not too bad and we get to play the Golden State Warriors in the first round so let's just go ahead and see how this should go Stephen Curry do that yellow is so disgusting. Look at Wiggins, Kamenga, Wiseman, Jordan Poole, Draymond Green, Davidson, Caleb Martin, and Moses Moody. So uh, this will be interesting. Still like the plan tournament. And uh, we'll probably go game by game here against the Warriors. So game one, they're down or we're down one to zero. Box score, 30, 10, 28, 22, 18, and 11 and 12 from John Wall. But seven Curry dropped 44 and beat us by 15 points. So can we even it up? Yes, we can. 118 to 105. So that's a good sign. 23 and 16. Can we win game three. No, we do not. Can we win game four? No, we do not. Are we going to get beaten five? No. Can we push this to seven? Yes, we can. So we're going to game seven with Stephen Curry in the Warriors. Imagine LeBron James versus Stephen Curry in round one. That'd be kind of entertaining. You know, it would actually be kind of solid. Is that possible in real life right now? Because uh, we need that. That would be so much fun. And I think we might we might get the best of the Warriors here. We're going to beat them 99 to 119. Gary Harris with a great game. 21 points, three of six from three, which is exactly why we signed this man. W Gary Harris needed your services there. And then John Wall 10 and 8. So uh definitely would have loved to have seen more from John Wall. But hey, now we get to play the Pelicans, which probably means we're about to lose. So Devonta Graham, CJ, Brent Ingram, Zion Valentunas, Jackson Hayes, Herbert Jones, Larry Nance, Patrick Beverly, and Willie Hernan Gomez. So yeah, I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat the Pelicans, but hey, you never know. Game one, they're up one to zero. Game two, they're up two to zero. It's the damn Pelicans in 2K. What do you expect? Three to one. Can we uh, win game? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Want a little bit of a run here? We're. Oh my. I thought, you know, I was like, dude, someone threw a game is working. We pushed them to seven. Maybe we should have done some cast for that game seven. Damn, that's annoying. Oh, well. Let's simulate the playoffs in uh, Pelicans and Grizzlies as we know, as we have. Duh. Toronto Raptors going all the way to win it over the Grizzlies in seven games. Fred Van Vliet, Finals MVP. Shout out to Fred Van Vliet. Man, we almost did it to the Pelicans. We almost did it to them. I, I didn't think we had any chance of beating them, but hey, we pushed them to seven. All right. Gonna be an oh, wait a minute. Did LeBron James retire on me? He did not. Okay, so the W. So no LeBron James retirement. Almost would have messed up there, but draft lottery time. The Chicago Bulls have 
the third pick from the portland trailblazers which actually isn't true because the bulls are the portland trailblazers lottery pick is protected till 2028 until it conveys so yeah that's not true chicago has back-to-back -back second and third but that's in the eastern conference so i won't worry about it too much today uh, i would fix it later on but obviously uh we're not worried about it because if i was dealing with the chicago bulls in the east i would be a little upset but it's fine so head coach maybe we go for something different rex russell as a big man coach no thank you we got steve nash frank vogel we can just bring back frank vogel we got jason kidd chauncey billups um so there's some guys we can bring here i'm gonna go for steve nash why not used to play for the lakers obviously um never mind he's not coming here so let's try to get somebody different uh frank vogel i'll probably just get frank vogel back i guess if we're not gonna get steve nash wait can we get steve nash no never mind we're gonna get frank vogel back so frank vogel almost got us to the western conference finals with our current roster so trade finder we got andy davis under contract we got kendrick nunn which i'll throw him out there just in case we get grayson allen richardson two first round picks marcus morris uh but kendrick nunn was pretty good for us i i, I don't know man I'm, i don't think i'm gonna really trade him monte morris would be solid what did monte morris average last year we're trading a fur oh we have a first round pick this year which actually could be helpful so we're not gonna trade the first round pick we're gonna go ahead and jump in here and see if we can get a number 28. we have hunter salas chris livingston marcus bagley got uh chris livingston like i said hunter salas marcus bagley i just said i don't know why i'm reading it like that uh city Soko kasoku um i might go with hunter salas here low-key so we're gonna draft hunter salas we also have an early second round pick which is pretty helpful and we'll draft chris livingston and we actually have another second round pick so let's jump into our other second round pick the later one but hey maybe get something good here we got alan flanagan mark mitchell so i'm gonna take alan flanagan and low-key these guys could be using some trades or keep them around alice uh livingston and flanagan welcome to the team player options none and qualifying arbors got mason jones austin reeves and suku Dumboya. and i believe both john wall and lebron james are free agents so uh wow we got john wall christian wood and lebron james all as free agents so of course we want to bring back lebron james i, I would i would like to think uh we're going to be as our one offer which is great christian wood i want to bring back because he's titled the video as well and then uh john wall wherever you may be i would like you back because you're also the title so Let's bring everybody back. I want to run it back one more time with this core. So uh, get everybody back there. And then we have a little bit of money left over to offer a little bit of something. So I saw Eric Pascal, which might be a good addition. So Kendrick Nunn, Hunter Salas. We got Gary Harris, Flanagan, LeBron James, and Chris Levison, which is solid. Christian Wood and then da uh, Davis. So yeah, I think I am going to go for Eric Pascal here. So it'll be a solid bench piece to have for the foreseeable future. So Eric Pascal, welcome to the Lakers. And then we can sign a wide side too. Why not? So wide side. And then I think we can also make a trade. So we can maybe throw Kendrick Nunn and whatever together or something, man. We could we could try something or we could throw some of our rookies together. So let's take a look at what we might be able to put together. So nothing really made too much sense as far as the trade was concerned, but we do have a little bit of youth on this roster now. So John Wall, Gary Harris, LeBron James, Christian Wood, Anthony Davis, Kendrick Nunn, Chris Livingston, Eric Paschal, and then Siku Dumboya. And of course, we have some young guys part of this roster down here. So um honestly we have some assets now with some young guards that we could potentially make in some kind of trade there is the ability we could get better this season there really is so we might be able to make some kind of trade at the trade deadline potentially i will explore that option but i like what we have for now and power ranking still lands us like top number one so um with Eddie davis and lebron james still as our duo john wall and christian wood we're gonna run it back one more time probably and again trade deadline is probably gonna be our best friend again we didn't use the trade deadline last year but i think this year we're definitely going to use it. So we just mortgaged the Lakers future quite a bit. And you might be wondering, oh my goodness, we've agreed to an offer with the Portland Trailblazers. No, we did not get Damian Lillard. We got Josh Hart. And honestly, I gave up way too much to get him. But you know what? I needed a guard and I want to try to win a championship. So Josh Hart immediately steps in as the brand new starting shooting guard for the Lakers. who so obviously used to play here. So it's now John Wall, Josh Hart, LeBron James, Christian Wood, Anthony Davis, Pascal, Levinson, Suku Dumboya, and Hassan Whiteside. So Rotation looks a little bit different, obviously. Now I'm gonna throw Stephen Boy out of this and throw Gary Harris in it. That way we have a uh, guard depth instead of more power forward depth. So yeah, obviously that was kind of a interesting trade, but Josh Hart comes over and uh, becomes pretty interesting for us. So gonna move this to a grit and grind system, I think, for the rest of the season. And uh, yeah, that was our big acquisition was Josh Hart. So does that mean we win a championship? I don't know, man, but hey, I'm glad we brought in Josh Hart. That's all that matters, and we'll see what happens for the rest of the season. So we finished up as the second seed in the Western Conference. Almost actually finished as the first seed, which would have been awesome, but MVP goes to John Morant. Victor wins Rookie of the Year. Vucevic wins Sixth Man. Anthony Davis wins Defensive Player of the Year, which is a W. 
Amanda Quickly most improved, and Chris Finch is your coach of the year. The Timberwolves, I think, edged us out for that, uh, obviously, that uh, number one seed. So we'll see how that's about to look. All-NBA second team, All-NBA third team, All-Defense first team, and All-Defensive second team. So, uh, yeah, Minnesota, did, what what record did we have then? I really don't even know. We went 56-26, and 26, which was really solid. We look at the player stats we had, uh, 24 with LeBron James, 21 from AD, 16 from John Wall, 14, 9, 8, 7 and a half, and then 6 from Gary Harris. All right. So we get to play the Golden State Warriors, the Kings, Denver, or the Mavericks. Let's see what happens. And we get to play the Warriors, who we beat last year, Stephen Curry Pool. And then Clay Thompson's gone down overall. They have Montres Harrell now. So hopefully, like last year, we beat them again. This is almost a similar bracket, but we're down one to zero this time. We're down two to zero. Um, we're down three to zero, and we're gonna get swept, aren't we? No, three to one. Okay. Well, we uh, have an uphill battle to climb, don't we? So uh, that is unfortunate, to be honest with you. Can we beat the Golden State Warriors here and uh, go on to round two? Because I would prefer not to lose in round one, honestly, because I think that um, that would suck, obviously. So can we beat them? Yes, we can. 117 to 97. All right, Simcast again. All right, they hate my rotation. So you know what, 2K? Fine, you can build it however you want, and I'll roll with your rotation. Simcast again. This time we're playing in Golden State. If we could force a game seven... Have all the confidence in the world that we'd win it but of course we got to win game six first one game at a time not looking good for us and uh yeah i think we lost for sure 78 to 101 84 to 106 so it is pretty clear no matter how you shape it 87 to 108 the lakers are screwed just kidding i don't know if they're screwed but yeah uh i don't know man hornet's going to win the championship my ball is your finals mvp i really don't know how i can make this roster much better unless if i just like Got rid of LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and everything else. So, uh, a little bit of a shorter rebuild today, obviously. We almost got to the Western Conference Finals today, but that was it. I just wanted to see the scenario. If the Lakers had traded for John Wall and Christian Wood, would it have made a difference? In 2K, they say no. It, it would not have mattered. We lost in the first round. In the second season, in the first year, we almost got to the Western Conference Finals. We were super close. Uh, but LeBron James and Anthony Davis have, uh, you know, they always have a chance to go on and do something in the playoffs once they get there. It'll be interesting to see how the Lakers handle Russell Westbrook. We'll see what happens for the rest of the season, man. I'm excited, but it would have been interesting to see if the Lakers had accepted that John Wall Christian Wood trade. Thank you guys for watching. This is Crushables saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.